This is the cruelest four-wheel drive track in my local area. Spanning for a solid one to two kilometers, the whole thing is a cocktail of deep sand, snakes, and unpredictable surfaces. It eats cars alive and is not designed for idiots on bikes. in voiceover. This track is one of the most violent things I've ever had the displeasure of driving down. First time I came here was with my dad um, and we managed to get bogged like three, four, five times. I don't remember, I just remember we spent a lot of time bogged. This sand is so deep in places and it's also quite thin, like quite like kind of, it's quite fine. Today I'm gonna ride down it because apparently this is the kind of things I do now. <laughs> My best bet is low gears, you know? I think that'll do it, maybe? Okay. Hang on, let's give this a shot. <laughs> Alright, I probably could have stopped that, don't know why I didn't. Just a good, like, just a little preparation there. <laughs> oh no, what have I embarked on? <laughs> there is so much resistance, I don't know whether I should just like... I don't know whether high gears or low gears. Oh well. Right, so I've decided to push it up this first hill just because it's a hill and I doubt that's helping anything. So yeah, I guess I'll push it up this hill and then I'll get back on on the other side. First really noteworthy part of this, right, is that this sand is actually hard to walk through. I don't know what I'm thinking with the whole riding through. So cool. It's awesome. All right, I'm not at the hill yet, but I think I found a nice compact piece of sand, I think. <laughs> anyway, back to walk unit. <laughs> I got a nice three seconds of riding back there. <laughs> this was a stupid idea. <laughs> What's an exciting news? There's not actually many bike tracks around here. Like. There's no bike tracks around here, like tracks from a bike. So I could be one of the first people to do this. Can't imagine why, it's so easy. <laughs> Yo, momentary pedaling. No, don't crash into the tree, this is your moment. Oh, dude, this is nice. That was a nice second. <laughs> Soft sand, let your tires down a bit. I don't want to. <laughs> Go through the stress of pumping them back up. Eyes are probably too thin for it to make much of a difference anyway. 12 PSI tourists. Okay. Nice. Check it out. I think these are fox tracks. Is that interesting? I think it's interesting. Maybe this is a popular crossing zone because they kind of seem to be everywhere. Fox tracks. Like a, a root. A root animals take. I don't know what they're officially called. Anyway, back to the route I'm taking. <laughs> God, I'm smart. There's some kangaroos in the bush over there. They're literally right there. I didn't see them. I hear an actual car coming. Good fucking luck. If I can't do this on a bike. Check it out. I've got this minor dip. So I'm going to take advantage of that and ride my bike for a millisecond. Because you can ride down dips. You ready? <laughs> oh, come on. You can ride down dips. Check it out. I get on for like a millisecond and it instantly like sinks into the sand. Oh cool. Another hill. I wasn't even on it. I wasn't on the bike. Pace really was slow, but then I was gifted with a moment. Check it out, looks like this piece of trail will be a good bet. <laughs> Let's soak in being on a bike. Oh yeah. Oh, being on a bike is nice. Come on. No, don't take this from me so abruptly. No, come on. Oh, 
Oh, this is pretty hard. Maybe I should try riding on this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be in pain tomorrow. Oh, oh, hot damn, this is so good to ride on. The part that I fell on is turning out to be like the bliss part of this journey. Sure, I've got to move around a little bit. Oh, oh shit, I've actually got some speed. This rules. Nope, don't go off the track now. Yes, no, yes, yes. Come on, please give me this. I need this, please. Just a moment, it was just a moment. <laughs> It was nice while it lasted. Sure, I'm not spending a huge amount of time on the bike, but look at that view. Wow. Oh, this makes it kind of worth it, doesn't it? <sighs> that view though. Welcome back to the slog of me pushing my bike over sand that just kind of likes eating it. This is a good day out. <laughs> Finding all kinds of like, I think car bets on the side of the road. I don't know if this is a car bet or not. I hope it is. I hope they lost it and I hope their like car died out here. Because then like I won't be the only one suffering. <laughs> I hope it was the most crucial part of their car and that car just sort of fell apart and they had to walk home. I hope that. It's not a car up here in pieces. I'm gonna be disappointed. I keep thinking the ground is like hard enough to ride on and then I hop on and the bike just sinks. That piece back there was nice though. God, that was a nice piece. Check it, more animal tracks. They go all the way along here. Also check out this rock. This is really hard. This is really notably hard. In like a bike through thick sand, it's fucking hard. How much more of this track is there? <laughs> I found what looks to be like an easy piece of track to ride. Bike bliss on its way. Hold on. Okay. It sinks a little bit, but not much. Oh, hell yeah. I'm riding a bike right now. Woo! Yes. Yes. Look at this filthy sand. Look at that. It's sticking to my sweat. I'm gonna be so dirty after the more animal tracks. I'm not sure anyone cares at this point, but it's what I'm looking at. It's, it's my view, so maybe just be appreciative. <laughs> Let's try running. To, like make up a bit more time. Running. It was the hardest run thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. So a huge shout out once again to those Seek Discomfort YouTubers who stay in five-star hotels. Fuck you. I hate you. Sand's gotten worse. I'm sinking in it now, not just the bike. Like I was before, but like more so now. Adventure, yo, sick discomfort. Adventure. Yo, just to show you how deep this sand is, I stopped for a second to set up a shot and... It's not even that deep in the sand. What the hell? What is happening here? What the hell is this? What's happening? Is my bike being cursed? I literally just stopped to set up the camera and it just stayed there. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is amazing. The track is getting a bit thinner now. A bit tighter. Hope that means I'm almost there. It did. It did mean I was almost there. But first, and likely sensing my imminent success, the track decided it was time to eat me alive. <laughs> Alright, this bit of road's a bit nasty. It's got like a lot of shit here. Example. <laughs> oh well, it's only a little bit. It's not horrendous though. It's not like I'm struggling too much. Okay, I'm struggling a little bit. It keeps slipping into these fucking crevices. It's fine, it's whatever. This piece of road sucks. What is this? Whoa. 
Whoa. The bike slips down there. Took me down with it. What a cool bike. Once again, went to do a shot. The bike's doing the thing again. That was a full blown face bike. What the hell was that? Get away from my eye. How much more of this road is left? Just saw a tiger snake. Love to see them. Seemed super scared of me though, so I kind of feel bad. Soz man. Oh my god, I see the sea. I'm almost there. God, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost done. I've almost made it. Yes. Guys. Guys, guess what I'm doing right now? I'm riding a bike. The ground's solid enough a little bit. I'm actually riding a bike. I'm riding the bike. I'm riding the bike. Finally, my journey was at an end. Sure, I'd spent most of the day on my ass, seen a snake and eaten more sand than I likely walked over. But through all of that, I'd persevered. And now I can proudly say to the stranger that didn't ask, Yo, you know that sand track out to that one beach? <laughs> yeah, I rode that. 